Hi everyone, it's Dina with JP and it's JP again. So tonight is fish day. So we are doing our grilled fish uh, with vegetables, okay? Let's start with, with the ingredients. Double cream, ground pepper, black pepper. Uh, we've got some uh, fish cube. Oh, I forgot to put a fish cube. There we go, fish cube. You see, and that's how I was prepared. So we've got a fish cube, okay, um, we've got oregano, dried oregano, we've got olive oil, my favorite, we've got salt, we've got balsamic vinegar, we've got a bag of carrot, cauliflower and broccoli, we've got one onion, and we've got white wine for cooking, a full cup. And we got off a uh, cod fillet, which I couldn't find it because I've got haddock, which is the same. Okay, so don't forget, as ever, if I'm going too fast, just um, stop the video and start again when it's finished. It's going to be in two steps. We're going to prepare everything. We're cooking everything with the oven tonight. So if you put the oven on full now, and there we go, on full, so it should be warm by the time we actually finish uh, the dish. Okay, so two steps. One, we're going to prepare, and step number two, cook for about 25 minutes, and then we're ready to go, and we can uh, serve the dish. Okay, so let's start straight away by cutting our onion, our favorite job. Okay, so let's peel it. Oh, it's a hard one, this one. So... Aren't you glad it's Friday night? Uh, I hope you had a good week, not too hard. I had a, quite a hard week this week. So, and I'm going to France next week. So I will be cooking for my mother's kitchen. So that's exciting. I got a week of cooking over there. So I spoke to my mom, she's quite happy with it. So we'll have a little French say on the way. Just to please the, the troops over there. So, let's cut this. So, I will make a little announcement on my website just to tell people about the French cooking. So, we cut the onion. There we go. Let me cut it again. Okay, so we've got the onion ready. Now that's going to be for the cooking with the fish. Okay, so we put the onion in an oven tray. Now if you don't have an oven tray, any tray, any tray you can put in the oven is good. Okay, so we've got the onion in here. And then what we're going to do, just move it around like this a little bit. And then we're going to put a mm, lovely piece of fish, a fish right in the middle of the tray. Like so. Lovely. Now, one thing about fish, whatever you use for fish, um, if you got, um, like I just did, um, container where you can we just put in a bit now and just take it downstairs straight outside uh, because it really doesn't uh, smell good if you keep for too long. Okay, so black pepper on the top of the fish. Okay, a bit of salt as ever. So the same amount as usual, but just spread it on two of the fish. Okay. Mm, lovely. And we're going to put some oregano. Okay, so oregano, just a good sparkle on the fish. Like so. Lovely, smell nice. So we've done with the oregano. Oops, I just dropped something. 
So oregano, uh, so we put the salt, put this everything, and then we're going to put the white wine. All around, uh, like that. So the fish still out, as you can see now. If you got a bigger tray or a smaller tray, don't worry about it. The fish will still cook. Uh, we, we call it grilled because actually in the oven you actually see straight away, like if you were putting it in the grill. The, tr the trouble with uh, fish, you can't really put it on the grill um, because it sticks to it and it breaks into pieces. So, okay. And the last bit, you take your balsamic vinegar and put it on the top of the fish. Like so. There we go. So our fish is ready. Okay. So we put it on the side. Now we're going to put our vegetables in another tray. Like so. Oh, I'm just going to cut this one in half. It's a bit too big. Oh, maybe another half. There we go. Okay. Then we put our fish cube inside okay then we take two cups of hot water so make sure the water is very hot so it actually goes quicker for cooking and the cream will be the last thing we will add at the end you will see to make the sauce okay we use the same tray for that so hot water there we go so one cup And two cups. Oh, I'm going to put three. Let's put three cups. I've got a big tray here. So, three cups of water. Okay. A bit of salt, as we always do. Into it. That's it. So, we've got our fish um, stuck in there. We've got our vegetables. Okay. And we've got our salt. Okay. So, what we're going to do now, we're going to put it through the oven. Now make sure your oven is about, let's say, 2 to 10, to 20, no more. Put it in the oven and it's going to take about 25 minutes. Now, the thing is, we're going to pause the video as we always do and come back in 25 minutes. But make sure you keep an eye on it. Vegetable will be fine, but the fish, make sure it doesn't cook too quickly. If you see that it actually cooks and it starts to break into pieces, take it out of the, um, of the oven straight away, okay? So this is our fish. She's going into the oven. Then our vegetables shall go in the oven. My oven is fully heated now, so 220. Perfect. And that is it for the preparation. My God, this is one of the quickest meals we've done. Eight minutes. So we're going to leave it in there, 25 minutes to cook. So from now, take your watch, have a glass of wine. It's Friday night, you deserve it. I'm sure you work very hard for it. 25 minutes, then we um, take everything out, finish the sauce, and serve the meal. Okay? So I will see you in 25 minutes. Take care. Hey, everybody. It's been 25 minutes now. So we're going to take our fish and vegetable out of the oven. Okay. Oh, it looks lovely. So the vegetable, yeah, they look ready to me. And the fish looks absolutely divine okay so that's your fish and that's your vegetables okay i'm just gonna try the veggies make sure they are cooked yes they are lovely perfect okay so as you can see your fish is ready yeah lovely it's lovely cooked so what we're going to do now is in all of this we're going to put some cream so before actually let's do the other way let's just make sure we are okay um, I'm just gonna take the juice from the vegetables and put it in the tray with the fish I was gonna do the other way but we'll just do it this way it's probably better okay so we got our veggies here then Oh, it smells absolutely lovely. So we take our plates. Okay, two plates. Okay. And we're going to put our fish in the place. If you pick spatula or something very similar, take your fish, 
with a bit of onion, don't worry about it. Okay, a bit of fish in our plate. That looks absolutely wonderful. Okay, so that's our fish. Then what we're going to do is put some cream. So I said, at least three spoonful of double cream in the juice. Look at that. That looks absolutely wonderful. Make sure you have you dilute all the, um, the cream. Just going to test. Mmm, lovely. Absolutely lovely. Okay, so that's our cream ready. So you take your fish, you put your vegetables in. So make sure you put it on the side. So carrots, make sure you divide in two so there's no arguments. There we go. Just looking, it's been nearly you know all together about 40 minutes of cooking, so it's not bad, not bad at all. Okay, we got our veggies, and then oh, look at that. What I'm gonna do is take a soup ladle and just take the sauce. Now, make sure you got plenty of onions as you pour it in, like so. Now, the onions are very important because it's part of the vegetables, so look at that. Hope you can see properly. The rest of it. Plenty of onions and plenty of juice. Now, you will be able to scoop the juice out of the... Uh, plate with a spoon after. Now, if you have a bit of bread as well, by all means, put some bread with it. It's lovely. If you don't, don't worry about it. Okay? So this is it. Our grilled fish with vegetables. Okay? As usual, if you want to put something different, something more than that, by all means, just do it as long as it doesn't change the taste of the fish. Okay? So I shall hope you'll have a, a nice evening. You hope you enjoy your meal. Have a lovely weekend and I'll see you on Monday. Take good care. Bye-bye.